is the first episode on wheel notes. This, for instance, is my 2000 Subaru Impreza in black. And I actually bought this car off my dad. But my dad bought this next to new in 2000. Had it for a couple of years, sold it on. And which it was then put into a garage for 14 years. 14 years is a long time for a car to hibernate in a garage. I forgot it existed. My dad forgot it existed and then all of a sudden one day the guy that owned it gave me a message and said I'm putting the car up for sale and I was like wow I completely forgot about it so I let my dad know my dad went and bought it and what a moment I just remember the garage door opening up and then this thing was sat there in this garage dust all over it my dad started crying. I picked the car up last year and it had only done 64,000 miles. And this is a 20 year old car, 64,000 miles. And I've had it a little over a year now and I've I've done 10,000 miles in it. I won't lie, that's a lot of miles. But I enjoy the car, I enjoy driving it, I love driving it. There is just something about it that just makes me sparkle inside. It's just a different animal. Now this one is the non-turbo model, GC8. It has actually got the EJ20 engine without the turbocharger. Now a lot of people will be saying, oh, you need a turbo Subaru. You need this, you need, you need the power, you need the turbo. Yeah, we'll agree, a turbo Subaru is very nice. I've drove quite a few of them. But this is just different. This is reliability. This, you know, there is no need to fuss. There is no need to panic. It is all there, and it's not exactly slow either. You know, it's a very light car. It does go into corners unbelievably well with the all-wheel drive system, and a very light car overall. It is just a completely different animal. I love it, and I would have this over any turbo Subaru ever. I just would, and you might think I'm crazy. if I was in gear. <laughs> I don't think Flex is in gear then, because he wasn't going very far. <laughs> uh, this is my Almero GTI. It's the 2 litre SR20DE engine. 
it will soon have a tea, but just not quite yet. The first one was in when I was 19. I'm now 38, so work that out for your sake because I can't work it out. And now I've had one ever since. And then I've had, well, I've had five red ones. And this is my first blue one I've ever had. And I still own this one. I did sell it at one point and then bought it back. And then, yeah, I've had it ever since. And can't go wrong, it's never let me down. And I like my Jap cars anyway, so it's all good. Uh, just for a quick reference, that them hills over there, people, that's Scotland. That's flex in front of me. That's Scotland over there, we're not far from the Scottish border. I think there's only 90 odd registered still over in Britain.